One of Kansas City's largest companies is downsizing. H&R Block announced late today it will eliminate 350 full-time employees. Now, on top of those layoffs, 200 offices around the country will close. Sayed Shabir is live downtown with what employees are saying about the cuts tonight. Say it. Mark, I spoke to several employees here at the H&R Block headquarters, and they are left wondering who gets to stay and who has to go. Now, the company will be offering incentives to employees who will leave voluntarily, but after that, many will be forced out. They could come up to us at any minute and just say, you know, the future for Gabriel Rodriguez is unknown. It's a sad situation. The young father is a subject matter expert at H&R Block, which Wednesday announced it will be eliminating 350 full-time employees. You build a lot of relationships with your coworkers, um, so that's, I guess, what's the hardest part to deal with is just watching someone go, let go like that. Jeremiah Grams is an associate manager for the company's call center and says the employees were notified of the downsizing earlier this week. We had a meeting that we had to go to and call in, and that's how we found out from the big wigs. Grams had been with the company for four tax seasons and says losing his job would be devastating. I don't know what I would do, uh, especially if I got caught off guard, uh, especially how hard jobs are right now. I don't know what to do. I know I would have too much bills to pay off. Fellow employee Eric Pierce says getting laid off would mean he'd have to start all over. Back to stay, uh, step one, uh, try to get another job. Pierce doesn't know yet if he's one of the 350 who will be asked to leave. But while he wonders, his executives in the top offices will save about $100 million by the end of 2013. Now, H&R Block's president and CEO, Bill Cobb, released a statement saying, quote, we believe this realignment is an important next step in becoming a nimbler, more profitable, and more client-centric company. And to give you some context, the company has 2,200 employees nationwide, half of those right here in Kansas City. These 350 layoffs will cut the workforce by 16%. Live downtown, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News. Now, H&R Block stock dropped 16% in after-hours trading this evening following that news. And the downsizing plan comes one day after the company agreed to a $28 million penalty. That will settle an SEC claim that Block's former Option 1 mortgage subsidiary sold off subprime mortgages without disclosing it no longer had the cash to support that. Block sold Option 1 in 2008. A spokesman tells us today's reorganization had nothing to do with that settlement.